Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art One Stroke Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today's flower is a foxglove and I love how pretty these turn out and I was so thrilled when I did my first one. So let me share with you that this is our reusable teaching guide and what we're gonna do from this is stroke on it and wipe it off and stroke again till we feel comfortable. We're using Folk Art Multi-Surface Paint and so let's look at those colors. We have wicker white, magenta for the flower, citrus green and sap green for the leaves and we have some accents that we're using the violet pansy for. We're gonna use um, number 12 flat and we're gonna use an 5 8 angle. So let's turn this over and let's start practicing. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is put the green stem in on our project so that then we can build the flowers coming down on this project. So see how that's gonna happen? All right, so let's pick up, we've dampened the brush, dried it off, and now we're gonna pick up the sap and the citrus. So we are going to make sure if it matters what's on the toe and what's on the heel. And this is gonna be pretty good with uh, let's put the lighter color on the toe here. All right, so let's go back and forth. You're going to put it at an angle to pick up the paint, the sap green and citrus green. And then you're going to push hard like a flat brush when you're over there. I need more citrus green. All right, and you want to make sure that you load it up. So it's the same as a flat brush, but we've cut off the angle so that you can just use the toe. All right, so then what you do on your uh, reusable teaching guide is you see if you've got the right blend of color. And sometimes I'll just come here and make sure. Looks like I need more sap. And there we go. All right. Now, when we're doing this single stroke, it's like a daisy stroke with this brush. So we're going to push down and lift. All right, so let me show you this with a flat brush. Because when we're doing the vines and stem, the stem's easy with the angle brush, but when we're doing the small little leaves, we're gonna use this uh, 12 flat. So let's pick that up and go back and forth. All right, so now I'm going to use a, baby's, a baby wipe or we can use a wet paper towel to clean this off, all right? So all of these little leaves that we're gonna be doing are kind of small. See, they they come down really small right on top of the flower. So there's this. I'm going to have it leading with the dark color. So you have the light ones. And see how we build this? One, two, three, four, five. And they're all numbered here. So then you have some that go up like this. All right. So some of those are put in after the blossom but we have to get our stem in there first. So I'm more um, wanting to do the stem and getting it ready for the flowers we're gonna practice next, all right? So let me put this over here to the side and I'm gonna come right down here and do a main stem. And then right here, I can come up with a couple of these leaves that are at the end of the stem. All right, a little bit more color. All right. And a lot of these have that right there in the middle. All right, so it's part way down. Sometimes you'll see more of them. All right, and then I'm gonna wash that because we're gonna use it for our flowers. And we're gonna come up here and just get started by doing one of these clusters at the top, all right? And we might want to go even a little further down here, okay? So we're going to wash this, and 
both of these brushes are going to be used for the flower too. So here how I'm raking that brush, that gives the paint out of the ferrule area, this ferrule right there, okay? So we're working on the chisel and we're trying to make sure that we take care of the brushes, clean them as you go and put them out. And so let's come here and let's do some practicing. All right, so we're gonna use a 12 flat first and we're gonna go between with a dried brush, we're gonna go between the wicker white and the magenta right here. Back and forth really fast with pressure and then we pick it up and we just gently flatten it, okay? So right here's how you see if the color's right. See, that looks pretty good, all right? Now I can keep coming over here, all right? So we're doing this one here and here, but to do this one, I want you to see that I'm gonna push and lift it over. So like that, a little curve, okay. Now, let's come right here, and we're going to do the trumpet. So, of course, it's not going to be this big, but I want to show you. <laughs> it slides a little bit, so that's a good thing to show you that we want to stay right on here, so that means we're not going to push as hard, okay? There. All right, so when we have this right here, then we're gonna get our angle brush. So all of these strokes are in here like this. Then we're gonna come back and use our angle brush to pick up a lot more magenta and just the toe has the white. So magenta and white. Okay, now this is what happens here. We're gonna come right here and ruffle, get the white on here, there we go. Ruffle the back part of the flower. And then we're gonna come right here and finish it off. See that? So, did I paint that there? No, I painted it here. So right out here. See, the little toe there makes it really easy to make the those ruffles, okay? So now we're going to start on that edge. Come down. And there we go. Just clean it on up. All right? So I did the same thing here. I'm going to practice that so we have the dark inside where we're going to uh, put the little dots that are in those flowers which are really nice okay so let's just wipe all that off okay now we just take and we're gonna lay this right here and that's gonna help us from small little um, buds like up there and then we're going to start laying out the flowers and they get kind of bigger as they go down. All right. So I'm going to come right here in between the two. Wicker white and magenta. We can come put a little bit more green in there later. the bud, the trumpet of the blossom. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to make some of them a little lower. Okay, so let's turn this around because it's easier for you to do the ruffles the other way. 
So I'm going to pick up the white with the um, toe and I'm going to come back here and do a little bit of a ruffle with that toe. All right, so I'm going to come right back in here again with some more white. All right, so let's pick up some more. Okay, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is put those centers and I can use the corner, a little bit of this angle brush, just the point of it. And I can put a few little leaves coming down with this toe. So you can put some leaves in here that are grabbing those blossoms right to the stem. So just get the toe. All Last thing is coming in here and using the handle to do, um, I'm going to use the handle of the script liner really quick and show you that we can just put the purple little dots in here inside. Now we're going to come in here and put some white little dots on here. You can use the handle of the brush or just touch it with I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z one stroke floral painting sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.